Okay, so let's see how well you actually know how to count. Now, some of you might be saying, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know how to count. Well, I don't doubt that you know how to count numbers like one, two, three, and on and on and on. But uh, what we're looking at here is what we call a counting problem in mathematics because we have to count up uh, the number of situations to answer the question. All right, so let's take a look at this word problem. It says, how many outfits can you make with nine pants, a third as many shoes, and twice as many shirts as pants? All right, so this is a multiple choice question, and uh, let's take a look at our answers. So A is 30, B is 45, C is 189, and D is 486. All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, then of course I'm gonna show you exactly how to solve this problem. All right, now uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's take another look at this problem. So um, as I indicated, this is what we call a counting word problem. So it says, how many outfits can you make with nine pants, a third as many shoes, and twice as many shirts as pants? All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer is D, 486. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence uh, for figuring out the answer to this counting problem. Now, some of you might have just said, you know what, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm just going to multiply all the different uh, numbers that are going on in this problem. Well, that is the right thing to do. But uh, others of you are maybe just kind of confused. And even if you got the right answer, uh, you might be like, well, how do I really know that in fact that is the right answer? Well, let's get into this right now. So let's suppose you run across this problem on a test. And uh, if you are a math student, what should you do on any multiple choice uh, exam? Or a matter of fact, any uh, test, uh, you know, uh, whether it's multiple choice exam or not, uh, you should always guess. Never, ever leave a test question blank unless you get penalized for the wrong answer. Now, some of you uh, might say, well, let me see here. Nine pants, a third, a third as many shoes. Uh, so you have a third as many shoes as pants, right? So that's the way to interpret this problem. And then twice as many shirts as pants. So you can do some simple arithmetic and maybe your, you know, kind of your gut feeling is like, well, I think maybe it's like 45 or maybe it's 189. But uh, the answer is 486. So that's a lot of different outfits that we can make with our little uh, wardrobe here. And uh, how can we actually count up, you know, this uh, amount of outfits, 486 outfits from this situation? Well, that is a lot, right? Well, in fact, you actually could do this problem by counting up the specific outfits. I'm going to show you uh, something here in a second uh, with a simpler problem, but there is another concept that you absolutely need to understand in order to solve counting problems. All right, so let's get into this right now, and uh, let's take a look at this simple uh, little problem right here. And uh, once we understand how to solve this simple problem, then we can apply what we learn to the actual problem. So let's say you have uh, two pants, three pairs of shoes, uh, two shirts. How many um, outfits, not how many more, how many outfits can you make from two pants, three pairs of shoes, and two shirts? All right, so let's kind of keep it simple here. And uh, let me give you a suggestion, right? If you have a piece of paper and a uh, pencil, uh, just kind of sketch this out, right? Just think about it, right? You know, like imagine that you had to actually figure this out. Maybe you are getting ready for a work week, you know, and you're like, all right, how many different unique outfits can I make with my pants, my shoes, and my shirts? Well, there's basically two things that you can do here, uh, two techniques that we can apply. But before we do anything, we kind of want to, you know, envision the problem, right? So here we are. We want to make unique outfits, right? So we're not going to wear two shirts at once. We're not going to obviously wear two pants or, you know, we can only wear one shoe 
one pair, uh, one pants, and one uh, shirt, you know, at a time, right? So this is what we're talking about. How many uh, unique outfits can we make? All right, so let's talk about how to solve this. And effectively, there is two different ways we can uh, apply, and both are uh, very important to understand. So when we're thinking about counting problems, we can construct something called a tree diagram. I'm going to show you this in just one second. If you never heard of a tree diagram, well, again, this is very important and uh, not that complicated. But there is something very critical here that you need to understand as well, and that is called the fundamental counting principle. All right, so let's solve this uh, easy little uh, problem using these uh, two different techniques. And let's talk about this tree diagram. All right, so going back to our situation, we want to know how many unique outfits we can make with two shirts, two pants, and three pairs of shoes. All right, so uh, this is what we call a tree diagram. You can effectively sketch this out, and you can do this in a number of different ways. So uh, we have two shirts, right? So we have two shirts, two pants, and three shoes. So let's say we go and we just uh, we're going to select uh, one shirt. Maybe this is our like our little polo shirt. And then down here, this is shirt two. So maybe this is like a long sleeve shirt or a short sleeve shirt, whatever the case is, right? So we can start off with two different shirts. Now from here, let's focus on our short sleeve uh, polo shirt, for example. Uh, so let's suppose we take this shirt and then we have two choices when it comes to our pants, right? We have maybe our, uh, you know, our jeans and our dress pants, whatever the case is, right? We have two pants uh, choices. So let's suppose we selected our jeans and then we have three um, pairs of shoes, three types of shoes uh, to um, choose from, right? Maybe our sneakers or our flip-flops, whatever the case is, right? It's just use your imagination. So you could have uh, this combination with your short sleeve shirt, your jeans, and maybe your uh, sneakers. So this is one outfit that you can make. So with this one shirt as a selection. So we can kind of go through our options here and you can see that uh, with the jeans, you can have three different types of shoes. So here we have three outfits, but if we choose the other type of pants with this shirt, and uh, of course uh, these uh, same type of shoes, we have another three outfits. So we have six outfits that we can uh, make uh, with this, uh, let's say, short sleeve shirt. Now, if we change out the shirt to the long sleeve shirt, well, we're gonna end up with another six unique outfits. So how many um, outfits in total? Well, it's 12 outfits, right, that we can make uh, with, and kind of going back up here again, with our two shirts, two pants, and three pairs of shoes. So we have two, 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 and three, and we're able to make uh, 12 outfits. So hopefully you're seeing some sort of connection between how many outfits we're able to make and the number of things that are involved in this counting problem. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and talk about the next way to solve this problem. And that is something called the fundamental uh, counting principle. I'm gonna show you that in a second, but we're able to make 12 outfits from two shirts, two pants, and three shoes. And if you're saying, you know, Mr. YouTube Math Man, it looks like we're just multiplying these numbers, like two times two times three, that gets us to 12. So is, uh, in, you know, is there a connection here? Well, there absolutely is, and that is something called the fundamental counting principle. All right, so uh, this is kind of a technical definition. I'll kind of give you a, a general description of this, but let me go ahead and read this to you because this is what you would uh, see in some sort of math uh, book for those of you that are, you know, might be taking a math uh, class. So it says, if one event can occur in M ways, and another event can occur, and can occur in n ways, then the number of ways that both events can occur is equal to m times n. All right, so basically what this is saying is that, uh, effectively to go back to our problem, the event of picking a shirt, how many ways can that event happen? If we're going to build an outfit, well, there's two different ways that event can happen as we go into our closet, right? We can pick one shirt or the other shirt. So how many ways can we pick our pants? Well, there's two different pants, so you could um, have two separate events. And then in terms of our pairs of shoes, we have three different pairs of shoes. So the total way, um, the total possible outcomes with all these various events is the product. So two times two times three, that is 12. So that's just a, you know basically a simple way 
to understand the fundamental counting principles. So we're just going to multiply. But for those of you that, you know, with the actual problem, just multiply, you know, the shirts, pants, and shoes in our actual, you know, original problem, you might be wondering, well, you know, uh, that's a large number. How do you really know for sure? Well, this is why you need to kind of understand these principles of counting. Matter of fact, counting is a huge topic in mathematics. And a lot of people kind of, you know, might uh, underestimate, like, hey, I know how to count Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, no doubt, you know, that you know how to count with numbers. Hey, I see one car over here. I see another car over here. But uh, counting is actually a pretty uh, interesting part of mathematics. It's a whole kind of sub uh, set of mathematics. So uh, just, you know, uh, by you understanding the fundamental counting principle, well, that is a good start uh, to understand how to count in terms of more sophisticated type of problems. All right, so let's go ahead and, and uh, actually solve our original problem. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you this, and that is a couple things. First, um, if you enjoy this content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This is very, very helpful, uh, helpful to, uh, for myself to reach my own kind of goals. And my personal goal is to help as many people as I possibly can in the area of mathematics, right? This is why I've been on YouTube for over a decade. I've posted well over 3,000 uh, videos. Uh, you know, I'm committed to, you know, uh, basically doing what I can to help people in the area of mathematics. So if you enjoy this content, you know, the best way to support what I do is to hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well. Now you can see I have this lovely box right here because every so often I like to run discounts on my main full courses. So uh, what I'm going to leave in the description is a coupon code and uh, the links to my full main courses, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and pre-calculus. So this is a nice deal off the one year plan off these particular courses. These are full comprehensive courses. What I do on YouTube is kind of like little, uh, you know, they're tutorials. I, you know, do kind of informal instruction, but if you really want to master the, you know, any one of these uh, subjects in mathematics, well, then my courses are used by schools and, uh, you know, people that are in college and whatnot. You're going to get a full on comprehensive education. And in my courses, you'll find things like worksheets, quizzes, et cetera, et cetera, notes that you can download. So if you're interested, uh, just check out uh, the coupon code and the link in the description and uh, you can kind of go from there. I'm going to run this sale um, maybe for another day or two. It's been active. So this is a limited time offer. So if you've been thinking about taking one of my courses, maybe this is the time for you to uh, check this out or you know maybe to get into one of these particular courses and by the way too this is not limited to just any one course all right so let's go ahead and finish up this problem now that we understand the fundamental counting principle so here uh, we have this uh, word problem and we just kind of have to figure out how many actual shoes and shirts that we have so it says how many outfits can we make with nine pants all right so we have nine pants all right pretty straightforward and a third as many shoes. All right, so a third, one third of the nine pants. So one third of nine is what? Well, one third times nine is three. All right, so that's how many shoes we have and twice as many shirts as pants. So if we have nine pants and we have twice as many shirts as pants, so how many uh, shirts do we have? Well, it's gonna be nine times two. So that's 18 shirts. All right, so we have nine pants in our situation, three pairs of shoes and 18 shirts. So uh, how do we figure out how many unique outfits we can make? Well, just apply the fundamental counting principle because if you're going to make a tree here, right? So let's imagine uh, we're going to build a tree. You would start with 18 shirts. That would be a huge tree. Before we actually finish this up, let's go back to uh, this simple example uh, with the tree diagram. Matter of fact, I kind of went too far. Far. All right, so a tree diagram, and I didn't uh, emphasize this enough. This is kind of good to understand, you know, counting from a conceptual standpoint. But, you know, here in this particular problem, we only have two shirts. And in our actual problem, we have 18 shirts. Uh, and these tree diagrams can get really complicated. So that's why we need another approach to answer counting problems, i.e. the fundamental counting principle. All right, so let's go ahead and put this all together. So we have nine pants, three pairs of shoes, 18 shirts. So all we have to do is simply multiply nine times three times 18, which of course is 486 unique 
outfits. All right, so uh, hopefully uh, those of you out there that were like, I think the answer is 486, but I'm just not quite sure. Well, you were thinking along the right ways, and oftentimes, um, you know, uh, what seems to be kind of logical, uh, you know, in terms of answering a math question, uh, a lot of people are like, yeah, I think this is it. I just don't have the justification for it. Well, that's very good. I mean, you should always keep your curiosity in terms of like, I believe I have the right answer, but I'm just not sure why. Well, hopefully uh, this little video uh, answered uh, that, uh, you know, um, the question for those of you that thought that this was the right answer. But if you didn't uh, get this right in the beginning, hopefully you learned something about counting. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.